So hi, it's Jeremiah Best with the Inland Area Community Task Force in New York Agriculture in the Classroom. We are in the second day of our eggs, so we're just coming over to take a look. So when trout lay, lays eggs, they lay thousands and thousands of eggs. We're looking at um, about 200 trout eggs um, for our Trout in the Classroom project that we're um, doing virtually for classrooms and um, just people who want to learn more about trout, uh, conservation, stewardship, and other things. So we're looking, and if you look right there, you can see these are our baby trout eggs. We got them yesterday. You can see that they're eyed out. You can actually see their bodies starting to develop. Um, so what we have to look at every day, usually twice a day at this initial stage, uh, which is called eyed out, um, we want to look to see if they're all healthy to make sure that they're all um, no eggs are broken they should be hatching here probably in the next couple weeks you can see that their backs are starting to bend a little bit and those will continue to straighten out and then burst the eggs so one of the issues we have um, at this stage is that it will these trout will start to develop a white fungus and if we do not pull those eggs that white fungus will kill this whole batch um, it will spread from one egg to another, wiping out all the eggs. So when we think about our tank that we have here, um, we have a closed system. And what I mean by a closed system is that our tank is got a filter and it recirculates the water. Unlike nature, when we have our water cycle, we're going to have our rainfall and that's going to run through our creeks and streams and that water is going to replenish itself. Now in a trout tank like this, the water comes through and gets pumped out. We're going to talk, do a video about the different parts of the tank, but it gets pumped with the pump. And you can see there, it goes up that line and goes down underneath. It goes into a chiller which we keep the water about 50 degrees. Uh, cooler water holds more oxygen and trout prefer uh, cooler waters. And then it comes back in to the tank from the top. So the water is circulating itself. We're not getting any new water unless we pull the water off. And we're actually losing water through evaporation and condensation, um, which goes into some of those core standards when we're talking about water cycles. Um, and also when we're talking about our bio cycles. So we did have a couple eggs, so we are down two eggs. You can look in this cup. You can see that we have one egg right there, which started to have some uh, white fungus on it. And then you can see that one there that was just completely deteriorated by white white fungus. You can see a little bit of the body left, but the fungus already started to eat that trout. And if we left that in with the rest of our trout eggs and we didn't check it, that fungus would jump from one egg to another within the matter of an hour or so. So you really have to pull that out. Now, if we're out in an open system, out in the creek in nature, then these eggs would be dispersed along the uh, creek floor and these eggs would be away from each other. But here in the tank, we have them in the breeder basket so that we can maintain them, uh, keep them from being sucked up through filters and other things and, and keep it stable because we don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs like trout would have in a crit. So we have to try to maintain it. So there's the fungus and we'll come back We'll check usually once a day, if not twice a day. Uh, we're here at the Inlet Community uh, School campus, and they're gracious enough to allow us um, to be able to utilize their facilities. So there it is. If you have any questions or comments, let, let me know. Reach out. You can either put it in the comments, uh, or you can reach out and contact us. We are going to be hopefully at offering some live sessions for schools to participate. If you would like to schedule a live session, we'll try to fit that in um, and try to stage a Zoom call for y'all to 
uh, be able to zoom with us and take a look at the tank. And we're also going to have recorded sessions and we're going to try to offer maybe a few sessions in the evening so families and those who are learning virtually can also participate. So hope you all are having a great day and be kind out there. Bye now.